Have you ever wondered where ants go in the winter? A fascinating question, isn't it? It's easy to assume that these tiny creatures like birds might migrate to warmer climates or perhaps they simply perish when the frost takes hold. But neither of these scenarios is true. In fact, ants have a rather unique way of dealing with the plummeting temperatures. These industrious insects don't pack their bags or succumb to the cold. No, they hibernate, much like the grizzly bear in the depths of the Canadian wilderness. Ants retreat into the cozy confines of their colonies when Jack Frost starts to nip. They seal themselves away from the frosty world outside, hunkering down in the heart of their anthills. So, the next time you spot a mound of earth in your garden or a crack in the pavement, remember this. That anthill is not just a simple home, it's a fortress preparing for winter. As winter approaches, ants don't pack their bags and leave. They prepare. Now, you might be wondering, how do these tiny creatures prepare for the harsh winter? Well, they start by sealing up the entrances to their colonies. A monumental task for such tiny beings, you might think. But ants are nothing if not industrious. They are the epitome of the phrase, many hands make light work. Every ant in the colony has a role to play in this big seal up. They scuttle around gathering soil particles, small stones and even parts of plants. With these materials, they construct a formidable barrier, effectively sealing the entrance to their home. This barrier serves as their defense against the icy cold winds and freezing temperatures of winter. It's a fascinating process to witness, really. The synchronization, the collaboration, the sheer determination. Each ant is a small but significant part of a larger whole working tirelessly towards a common goal. It's a testament to their survival instincts and their ability to adapt to changing seasons. Imagine if we could watch this process up close, seeing each ant contribute to the barrier, their tiny bodies working in perfect harmony. The sight would be nothing short of mesmerizing, so as we curl up in our warm homes, sipping hot cocoa by the fireplace, let's not forget about the humble ants. Just like us, they create a cozy home to protect themselves from the winter chill. Their survival is a testament to the power of unity and adaptability in the face of adversity. Once their home is winter ready, what do ants do next? They sleep. But this is no ordinary slumber. Ants enter a state of hibernation, or as scientists call it, diapause. This is a period of suspended development and activity, a time when their lives seemingly come to a standstill. As the icy winds of winter sweep across the land, their body temperatures drop in tune with the chilling air. Their movements, once swift and purposeful, slow down considerably. This slowing down is an ingenious survival mechanism. By reducing their activity, they conserve the precious energy stored in their bodies, energy that's crucial for their survival during the cold winter months. Like nature's own little rechargeable batteries, they lie in wait, their existence reduced to the bare minimum. In this state of deep sleep, ants wait out their winter ready to emerge when spring arrives. It's a remarkable testament to their resilience and a fascinating glimpse into nature's survival strategies. But how do ants survive without food during their long winter sleep, you may wonder. It's not magic, not exactly, but it's a form of biological brilliance that's quite fascinating. During the warmer months, ants are busy little creatures scurrying about in search of food. These diligent workers are not just satisfying their immediate hunger, but are also preparing for the long winter ahead. They consume more than their bodies immediately need, building up fat reserves that will sustain them through their winter hibernation. Just like a hiker stashing trail mix in their backpack for a long trek, ants store energy in the form of fat. This stored energy is slowly released during the cold months when the ants are inactive and food is scarce. It's a simple yet ingenious survival strategy. Fat, you see, is an excellent source of energy. It packs more than twice the energy per gram compared to proteins or carbohydrates. This makes it the perfect fuel for the ants' winter sleep. You may have noticed ants scurrying about more frequently during the summer and fall. That's because they're busy collecting and consuming food, storing energy for the winter. It's a time of plenty, a time of preparation, a time of survival. So while they may be out of sight, rest assured, the ants are doing just fine. Tucked away in their cozy homes, waiting for spring, 